watchman. A good watchman does not go to sleep. But a bad watchman is even sleeping while he or she is supposed to be watching. I pray we shall all be a good watchman in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless us, my beautiful people of the Lord. How are we today? I believe we're doing great and blessed. Welcome to our moments with the Lord Ministry. I still remain your friend and sister, Sister Isioma Uchi. A very big thank you to everyone that has been subscribing, sharing the videos. And for those that are yet to subscribe and share, please help us to subscribe. Why the Lord bless us is the work of our Father. We can't do this job alone. I need you and you need me. I pray the Lord will give us the grace to finish well in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we just quickly make this confession loud and clear as we mean it? Can we say I'm what God says I am? I'm what God says I am. I am not what man think or what man says I am in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Just imagine, yet 2022 is just flying. This can only be God. All thanks to God Almighty for so far he has brought us up to this period and we know he's taking us ahead to greater and mindset breakthroughs in Jesus' name. Amen. In today's episode of A Moment to the Lord, we'll be seeing a topic that says, A Watchman. You know, this does mainly we call them get man. Who is a watchman? A watchman is that person, that being, that is made to stay awake, to intercede, to watch, to pray, to protect others from harm or from evil. While others are sleeping, a watchman is not expected to go to sleep. You need to guide those that are sleeping. You need to guide those that cannot protect themselves. A watchman is kept on his or duty post for a specific purpose and mainly for security purpose. A watchman. Who is then a watchman in the kingdom? We just see a watchman in terms of the physical, the physical watchman we see. Now let's see what the Bible talks about. A watchman. Are you a good watchman? Are we watching properly? Are we doing it diligently? Let's see what the Bible says. And let's see the quality, the characteristics, and the weapons a good watchman need. Not just a watchman. A good watchman does not go to sleep. But a bad watchman is even sleeping while he or she is supposed to be watching. I pray we shall all be a good watchman in Jesus' name. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 3, verses 17. It continues to 19, but we'll take 17. You can take the many one on your own, the many verses. Let's see. And the Lord says, Son of man. I have made thee a watchman. The Lord says he has made us a watchman. Right from the day we accepted Jesus into our lives, the Lord has made us a watchman. That's the, the watchman unto the house of history. The Lord has made you a watchman unto your own. Unto your family, the ministry where you are fellowshipping, unto the society, to that marriage, to that children, the Lord has made you a watchman. And that is why he's going to ask everyone on the last day, how did you watch? Now let's go ahead. He said, therefore, hear the word at my mouth, God the same, and give them warning from me. May the Lord bless this word in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. When you go to verses 18 to 19, he now begins to tell us about the warning he wants us to give to them. He said, go and tell them that those that are in sin, if they repent and never go back to that sin, I will not remember the sin again. He said, but for those that have been doing Walking in righteousness, if they decide to go back to evil, he said their righteousness will not count again. Beloved in Christ, the Lord will need us to go to the world. Go and tell them that there is still time now that they are alive. After death, judgment comes and no man can repent in the grave. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. As a good watchman, what's there? What are the weapons we need? 
The physical watchman can be ordering a mobile phone, can be ordering a gun, can be ordering other types of uh, weapons to be able to protect himself and others that is watching from arm. As a good watchman, we need what? We need the old armor of the word of God. We need the breastplate of righteousness. We need holiness. We need to accept Jesus as our Lord and personal Savior. It is non-negotiable. We need to be prayerful. Fasting is needed. We must be ready to accept corrections from the Word of God and for those that we think they are godly. We need to pray fervently. This is not time to sleep. There is no more time. The time is fast spent. We need to win souls for our God, for, our, for the kingdom. We need to preach the word of God. And we cannot do this if we ourselves are not grounded and solidified in the word of the Lord. We need to be genuine children of God. I pray the Lord will help us. That will make it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we take this prayer together? Can you say, my father, I come before you today. I ask for more of your grace. I ask for the strength. And I ask for the wisdom to be able to be a good watchman. Thank you for the gift of life and health. In Jesus' name. Amen. Maybe you'll be listening and you say, I want to give my life to Christ. I want to also be a good watchman. Is it possible? With all the sin I've committed, oh yes, it is possible to turn that belief. All things are possible. Can you make this prayer? Take it from your hands together, mean it, and let's say it together. Say, my father, I am sorry for all the wrongs I've done to you. Forgive me, O oh Lord, and write my name in the book of life. From today henceforth, I say bye-bye to the works of the enemies. I accept you into my life as my Lord and personal Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for in Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Congratulations if you've taken that word of prayer and you meant it. Please look for a living church and fellowship with the brethren. God bless you and still constantly in the word of the Lord. The Lord will help us to finish well and finish strong in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you, but God loves you more than I do. Amen.